so it's 4.30 a.m., 4.36. I'm on my way to the airport, head to New York and Houston. I have a meeting starting at, um, I think, 11 a.m. Eastern. Let's see what the week entails. Closing. All right, so on our way to Lambert International, 4:43 a.m. Um, flight time is 6 a.m., so I got an hour and 15 minutes. I'm gonna be there way early. Made it to the room, the hotel. It's about 6.20. I'm uh, gonna go for a little run, have some dinner, uh, do a couple odds and ends for work, and uh, probably call it an evening. So I'm in the New York office. I've just decided to commandeer one of our, one of my partner's offices here in New York. Uh, I'm not sure if she's in today or not. Um, we'll, uh, we'll find out, but Nini, this place is an absolute disaster, but uh, thank you for uh, letting me uh, hang out here completely uninvited and unannounced, and I'm sure you're happy that I'm criticizing your office and you didn't even invite me here. I'm gonna be heading to Houston today. One of the things that is, makes me most excited about the work that I do at PWC is the opportunity to be involved in, in other people's careers and help them grow and develop and the way many of my senior partners have, have treated me. So today there's two guys that I'm going to be seeing that I'm very close to. Uh, one's name's Chris, the other name's Josh. Uh, Chris and I have worked together our entire careers. And the other guy who I'll be meeting with and going to one of his clients and then I'm speaking at one of the conferences in Houston is Josh and I was able to witness his career all the way from when he was associate to when we made partner this past July and you know I think many of you guys will see as you are mentored and as you grow and develop in your particular careers that the absolute most rewarding thing that you can do in your career is mentor others and then the satisfaction that you get from seeing other people su succeed is really unlike anything else um, that I experience in, in my career. But I had a meeting today that got canceled, so I'm gonna hang out in New York. 
uh, at the office, get some stuff done. And again, uh, Nini, thanks for uh, allowing me to crash in your pad. All right, I'm trying to find my uh, Uber driver for my uh, car to the airport. LaGuardia, sir, eh? Yes, sir, Delta. So wait for my plane. I'm supposed to be boarding in 10 minutes. I ended up spending most of my day on phone calls, which happens. Um, but tomorrow I've got meetings and speaking at the conference on when, on Thursday in Houston. Um, look forward to some warmer weather. Um, had a chilly run on the West Side Highway in New York last night. All right, boarding. LGA. Die. Houston. I made it. So one of the things I've been reflecting on is how important personal relationships are in business. And there are several reasons for that. First, having personal relationships and friends in the workplace just makes it a lot more fun to go to work. The other reason is, is creating the network. And you know, you never know those relationships that you forge very early in your career, you know, how they may benefit you in the future. The guys I'm going to see today in Houston, one I was an intern with 18 years ago, and uh, he's now one of my partners here at PwC. Uh, that's Chris. Uh, Josh, I think I was a you know, manager or senior manager when he joined the firm. And I mean, I'm just so proud to say that he is, after the summer, one of, one of my partners to be a friend, you know, a mentor, and a mentee. And it's really how you evolve and grow as a profession. And then as you develop those personal relationships, looking for ways to, to help other people and then looking for ways to develop yourself, they're really going to make you a better profession. be one of the stars sure so this is my boy Josh who we've talked about say hi Josh hi <laughs> so I had a fantastic meeting today with Josh got to stop by and see Chris meeting ended about an hour and a half earlier than what we anticipated snuck in about 40 minutes on the elliptical I'm really trying to get some more exercise great trip in Houston I'm speaking tomorrow morning tomorrow night back home to see my girls we had our international tax symposium great 300 plus client turnout and uh, you know really developing my personal network and 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 continuing to grow those personal relationships that we talked earlier about so uh, let's head to the airport shall we How's it going? Thank you, sir. Very well, thank you. I got it. The hobby. No water. 
through security. Thank you. in St. Louis, Lambert, heading home, working from home tomorrow, got a bunch of calls and some work to do, next week is a, another crazy week, but it's, uh, it's good to be home. So I'm back in the home office today, enjoyed, uh, first of all, always enjoyed going to New York City, went to Houston, let's try this again, I'm an international tax consultant. One thing I know that I'm not doing is saving lives. Relationships that I've made throughout the years allow me to make a positive difference in people's lives. And when I go to work every day, if, if one person can say that I've made a positive difference in their life, then I'm changing the world. I'm still doing international tax, but I still have the opportunity in my career to make a positive difference in people's lives. And I'm open-minded enough to be positively influenced by others is what drives me and it's what gets me going in the morning and what makes me sleep well at night for the work that I create. And no matter what you do, if you're scrubbing pots, if you're, I don't care what you're doing, if you can make a positive difference in people's lives, then you're changing the world. So with that, I'll send this off. Um, everybody have a great weekend. And uh, next week, we've got San Francisco, Seattle, Chicago, and Washington, D.C. on the agenda. We uh, look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks for tuning in.